I'm Brandon. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Nick. Oh, we got Nick back. <laughs> it's always yes, a pleasure, sir. sir. Um, so you guys know what that means. If Nick is here, then you know what? We are watching a movie. And it's the first movie commentary of the year, which is exciting, exhilarating. Um, even though we recorded one before this and it just hasn't come out yet. But <laughs> <laughs> but we are watching Batman, Mask of the Phantasm, the first Batman animated movie. Um, but first, you know, while you watch this film with us, hopefully, at, you know, I guess in the evening. But you know what? If you're, if you're not a late night caffeine person, maybe this isn't for you. But you could enjoy this movie with coffee and a comic. If you go to coffeeandacomic.com, go hit up our friend over there, set up a pool list, get yourself some books. And you know what? We want you to read comics. So there's a discount code below. And get some free coffee and bagged and boarded books. Like, what are you waiting for? And it's not free coffee, but it is free comics. If you've listened before, or if this is, if this is your first time listening, Lesser Known Comics is an independent comic book publisher that we wor- we love to work with and always communicate with. They've got a bunch of new books after they just after they just wrapped up their Kickstarter, all new content from a bunch of new creators, and some returning ones. So if you want to get some discounted comics, go ahead and check out our description for the code below. The official code, I'm looking it up, it says Apollo City Podcast for the promo code. Oh, nice. There it is. I think that's for coffee and a comic. And then, okay. Yeah, I think Apollo City 15. We need to learn our discount codes, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is one. There's two in there. Yeah, they, they get a little mixed up. But they're in there. Yeah. Um, cool way to kickstart the new year with these uh, discount codes. And we don't get anything off of it. Like, they don't, I mean, they're great friends, like, but they're not like sharing our content all the time. We're just like, you know, we just love each other and we just want just you trying guys to help each other out to read comics, like the good stuff, the bad stuff, the independent, the major, like just go read some comics. Um, Cause your good stuff might be my bad stuff. It probably is, but, Vice versa. <laughs> but guys, let's go back, man. Almost damn 30 years, 30 right? years. Yeah. It's actually, Oh my God. Next 19, year's 30 or no, 29 years. years. Yeah. Man, we should have saved this till next year if we would have thought about that a bit more. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it says we, the we release date. It, it says the release date was Christmas '93, so we could watch it again on Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I guess there so. you go. This is our Christmas. <laughs> this is a, there's we'll a, a lot live, of Christmas stuff for that show. <laughs> we'll uh, do a, a live um, movie commentary. We'll watch it with people. That sounds fun. Let's let's make sure to note that because we'll never listen back to this after I edit it. Um, all right, <laughs> guys, are you guys ready to hit play? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Yes. All right. Uh, real quick, I will say that I do own this movie on DVD and Blu-ray, and yet I'm watching on HBO Max because I literally don't have a disc tray in my computer. Oh. So there's that. So I am doing um the Batman the Animated Series box set that came out a few years ago. It comes with the movie, yeah. It comes with this and Sub Zero. So and I don't know if I've even Honestly, I opened this box set today, and I was like, "Have I ever looked at this?" Like, it's one of those. <laughs> I just don't remember anything from it. Blu-ray um, used, mint condition, never yeah, watched. <laughs> seriously, it was even perfectly placed in it. I was like, "Oh crap!" Uh, how are you watching it, Nick? Uh, HBO. Also. Oh, HBO. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, uh, so interesting enough, before we hit play, I had the option between a theatrical and a um television version. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious which one we'll end up getting. Um, I remember reading next. about that. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but there is a slight difference, difference. in some sort. I'm sure it's more violent, yeah. I want to say, probably. We'll find out when to start the time. I'm at zero seconds. Yep. Brandon, can you down? All right. As usual, if you've listened before, you know how it goes. We're going to say three, two, one, play. And the moment I press play, we hit the play button. You ready, gentlemen? Yes. yes. Three, two, one, play. Ooh, that classic um, Warner Brothers song. Bugs Bunny. There's a certain novelty to it, right? Right? Yeah. All right, let's look this Wikipedia article up. All right, directed by Eric Radomski, if that's how you pronounce his name, I'm sorry. Bruce Tim. Screenplay by Alan Burnett, Paul Dini, Martin Pasco, Michael Reeves. Story by Alan Burnett. And uh, starring all those famous people, you know, Kevin Connery, Mark Hamill. And uh, Andrea Beaumont. Dana Delaney. Ooh. Dana Delaney, yeah. Damn. This she usually plays uh, the voice of Lois Lane. 
Oh, oh really? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. See, when it comes to the animated Ooh. series, it's like Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy, and that's all everybody knows. Yeah. Uh, let's see the other thing. Christmas 93 is the release date. Awesome Christmas movie, in my opinion. And the budget was $6 million, and the movie did not make money. It actually lost money at a $5.6 million box office revenue. I don't know if that's domestic or worldwide, but yeah. Well, there is some... Real fast, before I even explain that guy... Well, we'll get to it. We'll talk about the intro. All right, so the reason why it didn't make money. Um, they, this was supposed to be an episodic release. It was supposed to be like a three-parter kind of type of thing. And um, they, this, I guess Warner Brothers gave him money and said, make a movie because season one was a hit, all this stuff. And so they just gave him a bunch of extra money to do this. And the, I think this intro is where all the money went. <laughs> this like, <laughs> this like, super 90 intro. CG. Yeah. Um, what are you doing, Spock? <laughs> Spock's like trying to get on my computer. Um, and they had to rush it as well. So it was a rush thing. All of it was just kind of just slapped together. And then it came out Christmas Day, but there was no marketing for it. Oh Man, gosh. can you imagine being like our age now when this came out? Ah, oh, be beautiful. Like how hyped we would have been. Dude, that <laughs> like Latin op operatic like intro is the coolest thing in the world. I love it's it. very like, Batman. It just hits you hard, yeah. You know, I'm gonna say it. The art style still holds up. Hell yeah. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, there's something about it, man. It's just... you know, and that... as, like, dated that outfit looks, it's still, like, amazing. Kind of just thinking back on that intro. Sorry, it's one of my favorite intros ever. Um, It even has that airbrush feel to it, what they did with the original intro. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, like, that CGI doesn't take you away from it. And that kind of became a signature CGI thing after that point. That was, like, super unique for a cartoon like this, you know? Or even getting an animated film from a cartoon <laughs> like that just didn't happen <laughs> a, f a cartoon that existed what for like a year yeah yeah it came out in 92 crazy I forget how like, old it is yeah and then you're introduced to the phantasm and i've always loved the phantasm you know when i was Although, a kid in the twist you're like oh <laughs> yeah 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 exactly your angel spoilers angel. for a 30 year old film um, so this is like the only appearance I believe until, until she gets brought back, uh, um, in justice league, right? There's like, also like the Batman and Catwoman comic that recently came out. Oh, okay. But yeah, it took, it took like 20 years for her to pop back up into existence. They didn't really find another use for her. Yeah. Um, I know she had, she was in the Batman, the animated series comic, uh, for an issue or two, I want to say. I haven't read it, but I just know, like, the cover. But, yeah, like, they're it really, you know, I feel like, you know, the Tom King, the one that Brandon just mentioned, the Batman Catwoman, is the only modern one we've had in mm -hmm. maybe, like, 10 years or something. They never, like, know what to do with Andrea Beaumont. There's so many characters like that, though, you know? Yeah. Well, especially like, from the animated series, too, when you think about it, like... Oh, the Batman Beyond animated series. Oh, too. Yeah, that one, too. Yeah. Yeah, there's, like, so many characters that are originally created for that that just didn't just come back. never went back to it. Man, okay, so can he turn his head in this crash. cowl or not? Yeah, he can. This he can, right? Yeah. So is it just cloth and rubber, or what's going on with that? Yeah, it's just cloth, yeah. I would say cloth and rubber, probably, yeah. That shine right there. That chin. <laughs> <laughs> So, Nick, were you into this or the Superman animated series more, would you say? Um, good question. I, I think I watched them both at the same time. And, but Superman had more of an upbeat, um, funner vibe, if you if I can say that. But I, I do like the Batman, like all the all the unique episodes they had, like the time he gets kidnapped and gets uh, and brought to Arkham and they have a trial for him mm -hmm. or like the introduction to Harley Quinn like there's some great episodes and Clayface the whole the origin of Clayface for the, like I remember that episode pretty well mm -hmm. but I like them both they're different right it's hard yeah, to compare yeah but I guess if you had to choose because yeah. they were put against but, each other yeah and I did watch both of them and then I, I carried over to Justice League 
and Justice League Unlimited is like, wow, this is a great, you know, universe they created. Mm-hmm. It's slept on on like how the '90s animated shows for both Marvel and DC like created a cohesive like universe that like had continuity, but no one realized. Oh yeah, it. they did the yeah they did that with Spider Man and the X Men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was yeah. But like Batman and Superman with the Justice League was a huge thing because it all worked. Yeah. You said your your favorite Batman is Kevin Conroy, right, Brandon? I'd say so. I think when I like read the yeah. comics and when I, you know, I'll say Roger Craig Smith comes honestly pretty close second. Um, hmm. He's uh for anybody who doesn't know, he's the voice actor for Ezio and the recent Sonic games, <laughs> and he does a pretty damn good Batman. If you say so, if I say so. What it. What does he do, Batman, on the video games? Or? He did some animated films for the uh, recent animated films, and then he also did oh, Arkham okay. Origins. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know which one. Yeah. There's yeah, a, a I know. Ke- yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I was gonna say, um, uh, he uh, he has clips on YouTube where he does like a Bruce Wayne voice and then a Sonic voice right after, and then he'll just do like Ezio from Assassin's Creed in the same conversation. Yeah. You know, this is like really cool because it's like, okay, we're seeing Bruce Wayne as he is right now. Uh, all these girls are around him. He's total playboy and he won't commit to any of these women. And it's interesting you see that because then it's revealed why throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. So having that like in the early setup is just like, it, it's a nice way to like kind of inform what he's turned into since this whole incident. And I think that scene right now with Commissioner Gordon, I don't think he's in the movie after this. I don't remember. I think remember. he just kind of takes a step back, and then he, that's just Gordon's not around. This guy ends up taking over. Um, and then some somebody else in the police squad takes over. It's not Gordon. You know, this, ha- this reminds me, we should watch uh, Sub-Zero and uh, Mystery of the Batwoman as well. Oh, yeah. You know what movie I've only seen once in my life when it comes to the animated series? The uh, Return of the Joker. Really? I watched that movie so many times. Ago. I saw it like once all the way through and then random clips. Wait, the Batman Beyond yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, that's a really good I've one. I've seen like the director's cut and the yeah. regular version. So this yeah. is this is super dope right here. We're not getting your stereotypical um, flashback where it shows Bruce's parents getting killed. They don't do that. All he does is walk up to the photo frame and he's heartbroken and you just know they're dead like you know Mm -hmm. the origin story you know why he hurts when he looks at it and then it you know the flashback instead of going way back in time it shows at the start of like the pinnacle moment between him and andrea yeah well the thing to also consider at this point like this is 93 right so batman has already existed 60 years Mm -hmm. no no 39 to 93 so you know He's going on in 60 years, and at that point, his origin story is pretty, you know, well-known. Well, I mean, we get it in every iteration ever. We're going to see every single one. every Batman movie and, you know, cartoon since then. This is the only time where they bounce and don't show it in, like, a pinnacle moment where they, where they would probably cram in the origin story. This is the only time we ever get, like, hey, you guys know what happened. Yeah. Like, well, just, just let's move on to the date. Exactly. This is 54 years after his like origin story in the comics. Right. And this is post season one. So they probably already went over that in season one. You know, it's, they don't. They don't. They don't go over it. Oh, anything. no, they don't. No. That's right. Holy. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my We're God. Yeah. The same crappy Batman origin. Like this <laughs> is different. This is the That's... only time we'll ever be cleared from it. That's true. I remember because I was rewatching some of it on HBO Max. There is no origin story stuff. He's already oh. Batman. Yeah, this and even this story, like they're basically saying like he didn't become Batman um, because his parents death. It's like he became Batman um, because of what happened between him and Andrea. Mm -hmm. Like when you watch what plays out, like it's it's a different kind of setup and motive that like really enforces that move for him and why he becomes darker at that point. Ah, that animation so dope. 
And here we get the rookie Batman. Oh, I love rookie Batman. Gets his ass whooped. <laughs> just yeah, masking. no suit. Yeah, no suit. Yeah. yeah, it's just Bruce Wayne in a beanie. <laughs> I think he has like a hammer or something ridiculous with him too. Like it's not, it's not an ideal weapon in any sorts. Look at yeah. that cell phone. <laughs> God, that voice is so good. I like how it's just like the regular Kevin Conroy voice too, right there. Well, well Bruce, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, the, the voice actors for all the bad guys and henchmen in every version of Batman. Who's that? Who's what's-his-face from Rebel Without a Cause? Um, uh, James Dean? Yeah, what, that dude looks like James Dean with like the hat and all that. Like <laughs> but uh, be a reference of some sort. Like, if you play Arkham City, they have the henchmen sound exactly the same. Yeah. And like that was like the one thing with like animated versions of Batman and like the video games. It always sounds like it's like the same two guys doing all the voices. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The same like same like three henchmen over and over. And it's cool because it's like this is you know the the one. I don't know. We don't really see it too often. We see it a lot in the comics now, especially like with, you know, what Chip Zdarsky is doing, but like his transformation into Batman, it's cool seeing how like raw this universe was. Mm -hmm. um, you don't really get too many implications of traveling the world and all that. Or maybe this is, I mean, I guess this would be right after it then, right? I guess so. Yeah. Well, I don't know, because then wouldn't he have met Ra uh, Raish like, while traveling? I don't know. I don't think they ever defined if he traveled the world. Well, Raish does exist in this universe. Yeah, but like, like as in meeting up with him uh, and his training and whatnot. That's always been kind of like a part of it. Well, it's kind of skimmed over like the origin story. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, the young Harvey Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cool because they're not detectives yet, um, him and Montoya. Yeah. That's right, yeah. And so then we won't see Gordon in the flashbacks either because... This is technically before year one yet. in a way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stupid hammer. Oh, he does have a hammer. Yeah, he does. <laughs> How does it not break the glass? I guess it's like bulletproof glass or something. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne Tech R and D is like, wow, we got a lot of weapons manufacturing. I wonder why, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is always cool. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so top heavy. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> is that what you wanted a Batman? A top heavy. Top heavy. Batman. He's like a Dorito. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. all, <laughs> he's all over body. That's how it felt like the Ben Affleck Batman was very top heavy. Really? Yeah, he does. He's very <laughs> wide shoulders. Yeah. Okay, so he had to have been traveling the world, I'm sure. All right. Doing Kung Fu in your, like, garden. <laughs> It is Lois Lane. You're totally right. I can hear yeah. it now. Yeah. <laughs> that was always hilarious. <laughs> the way he sounded. Ugh. He's like, I'm in love. <laughs> right? Dude, imagine just like kicking a girl down. Like, <laughs> what was that? She could have busted her head yeah. or not. Just a quick low swipe, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I just foot, sweep, just foot swept there. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit on a girl like that. I'm yeah. just going to try to. <laughs> you see Mask of Phantasm, and then, right? <laughs> and then jump yeah. on top of him like that, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's some James Bond, Sean Connery nonsense. Yeah. Damn, see, like that, instead of the moment of pain, 
that's like defining they switch it over because that's when he like falls in love with this girl yeah and this is like i guess i don't know what other batman romance uh, movies have we gotten movies oh man not many oh yeah the uh the, the one with the the alan moore is killing joke where she had, he has sex with batgirl oh, on her rooftop oh my god <laughs> there's right. that one i saw that in theaters and i was like this cannot be real uh, <laughs> I know, same here, dude. I I guess say hey, during this part, there's not much happening. But um, uh, my first Comic Con I ever went to, I think in whatever 2016 or whatever, um, 2015 maybe. I drove back in time to catch the Killing Joke at the Alamo Draft House, like for the midnight or whatever release, the 11 p.m. release. And that was this, I drove 12 hours from San Diego to El Paso, Oof. and then I went straight to the movies, and I was so excited to like wrap up my Comic Con trip with like the killing joke animated movie and it was just how wrong you were uh, you fool <laughs> i remember like asking my dad i was like dad am i tired or is this is this trash is this like, trash dad he was like yeah this is, this is really bad i'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> Your angel of death the week. dude this what is do so you guys cool. think of uh the character design of the phantasm i think the phantasm is awesome it's really simple it. but it's it. awesome it's yeah. kind of like the from Batman Year Two, the Reaper, that character. Yeah, uh, my very, only very nineties Batman, Batman with a gun. You know what I mean? That was total nineties Batman. Like the only Batman. the only thing with it is it feels like a spirit Halloween costume with like the rags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. But it works. Darth Vader but helmet. It... It's like. Yeah, I, I guess it is just like the Reaper. The Reaper has the the scythe. Yeah. Um, hands. <laughs> <laughs> see, you see what I mean? It looks like a Halloween costume, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it I, is one of the most simplest designs Bruce Tim ever did. Is this gonna? Is this guy gonna die of a heart attack? <laughs> oh my I god! Know, right? like, yeah. He, he like never directly kills them because it's like. It's like a kids movie. Yeah, because it's a kids movie. Uh, how cool! I, I, this like made me scared of this ever happening in my life. Like, I have a genuine yeah. fear of a fucking the idea of that happening on top of me. <laughs> yes. You're falling in a grave with no yeah. one around, it's like, <laughs> being chased <laughs> by the phantasm. <laughs> yeah. What a creepy, cool voice. It is. Oh, yeah. Mr. Bronski. I love it. Is it the same voice actor? Do they just, like, augment it? Oh, I don't know. Ah. <laughs> Are you looking it up, or do you want me to look it up? Oh, I can look I'm it up curious. if you want. I'm, 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 like, curious about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. We got it. I swear, every time with the henchmen, it just sounds like the same two guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like, yeah, see, they're like, hey, can you do like a, a stereotypical henchman accent from like the East Coast on here? A henchman one through eight is one guy. And then <laughs> <laughs> nine through 12, like, this is another dude. Job description is like super vague, but it's like, oh, they keep hiring me. I don't know why. <laughs> because they do that for just, every single one in like all the animated be, like, versions and the games. Just need like you to say these fifty lines and we'll be good. Like, we'll give you royalties. <laughs> we'll give you royalties. We're gonna keep using them. Don't worry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy dies of a heart attack. Oh no, he needs oxygen. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew like more noir stuff to know like what that guy's based off of. Hey, he's right there. Uh -huh. But I think he backs out right here too. He's like, yeah, yeah. And then Gordon's gone for the rest of the movie, <laughs> dude. I swear <laughs> to God, you're not gonna so see God, Gordon I'm, again. <laughs> I'm going on a vacation. He's like, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just so funny. Yeah, I mean, cool. I mean, I guess it's like you know a lot to juggle with these many characters in a sense. Like Gordon doesn't need to be in it in a way. Man, just 
Hey, he's using a tape recorder. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you have to hold down the button to do it. <laughs> <laughs> he has to rewind the tape. By the way, he's like, by the way, Alfred, buy some eggs when you hear this. Alfred, Alfred, we're really low on milk. <laughs> the music, it's a little too so, dramatic for me. But it's great at the I same time. It. Just stunning organ. Yeah. Like, out of nowhere, it's so obnoxious. <laughs> this is when she realizes, she's like, On trail. And then she looks at the grave. Damn, I remember the hell out of this movie. <laughs> I'm like a second ahead of it all. Bruce. Oh no. <laughs> it, uh, lightning. Bruce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. It's so it's so dramatic. <laughs> I bet you were <laughs> thinking of a, a man that's better than you in every way. <laughs> he wears a cow. Every single way. Yeah. I feel like his cow would have like binoculars in it. And how do they not notice him? <laughs> right, what is that? That's not he's inconspicuous like, at all. <laughs> he's like right out there in the rain. <laughs> like directly across from yeah. them. Like. It's like, Master Wayne, are you conducting an investigation, or is this personal time as Batman? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shut up, Alfred. Alfred, shut the hell up! Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Where are those goddamn eggs? <laughs> Ooh, he's I told pissed. you I need my he's, protein. He's <laughs> jealous. He's hurting. So my thing with 90s cartoons is why do why does every character have the same boots? Oh. Like the way they... You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know, just plain black shoes. Yeah, with like a heel, but it's like so. Yeah. It's supposed to tell you that it's a boot, basically. Yeah. The world like does not have world fairs anymore. You know what I mean? There is no like. Yeah. We're so far in the future of, and there's other just like random stuff. Like they don't do stuff like this. This would be cool to see. Well, the last one in San Francisco is probably like the night before the 1920s. I want to say. I could be wrong. And you don't really. You know, you don't really get, like, oh, I mean, you do kind of get an origin for Andrea. No, you definitely do when the Joker gets involved. Yeah. Which is crazy. Crazy at the fact that this is the first animated movie you're doing, and the Joker doesn't come in until, like, ha up to the end. Basically, yeah. Yo, Batman stole the Batmobile. <laughs> Dude. So, this is what I like. He sees this insane futuristic car... And he's like inspired by it. And it's not like, does it come in black and happen to be shaped as a bat? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It, yeah. It, it's literally just like his own. I wonder if like Andrea worked for the future land. And that's where he got the plans. He just stole them. He's like, this Batmobile is sick as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Can, Let me I'm just gonna... buy the entire company. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. How much for your Batmobile? Not for sale. How much for your company? <laughs> He's in love. Bruce Wayne. He's in love. Meeting the parents. That's how you know. <laughs> Dude, that guy's outfit with the suspenders <laughs> and the baggy <laughs> pants and bow tie, I everything. <laughs> it looked like his hair was parted too. I know, right? He's so formal. I love how even the flashbacks, the cars look older too. Mm -hmm. like they really put a lot of focus into the time difference. Damn. Way to stick it to the guy with the I know. Nothing's more important <laughs> than family. 
It's a shame your yeah. parents died. Yeah. <laughs> you have no you wife or any. kids. Yeah. You have no wife or kids. You're alone. That cigar brand is called Bengal Tiger. <laughs> I wonder if that's a reference of some sort. Who knows? Hey, it's the Joker. Maybe the maybe the director is a big fan of like the Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so <laughs> random. Yeah. Well, that's the Joker, right? Apparently, yeah. yeah. Or you know, it's interesting because you don't see him become the Joker, so it's like not even like a Joker origin story. It's just like part of his beginnings. But you can still kind of tell it's, it's him. Yeah, but there's no like vault of acid he falls into. You don't see him become the Joker. It's just like pre, you know, pre Batman, pre Joker, any of those like concepts coming to life and becoming theatrical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are they hitting him with? Oh, it's I've one of those seen. old fashioned Billy. I have no idea what they're yeah. called. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, he tossed that man into the cloth. In the greasy fifties, uh, and it just swings gang. in a perfect circle. <laughs> yeah, like. looking exactly yeah. like the henchmen from the the live action Batman movies. <laughs> they did the same thing in Batman Forever, I think. Yeah. Best version of Gotham. Chains. I said it. Chains, but neon. Wait, was it Batman and Robin or ba uh, Batman Forever that had the really like neon, colorful Gotham? It was uh, well, both of them. I think it's Batman, Batman and Robin. With all the like neon scene. With all like the um, buff dudes holding up the, the it, buildings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Best version of Gotham. I said it. Yeah, specifically for that reason. Yeah. Yo, they Ooh. they broke a bat on his ribcage. Yeah. That's how he knew. <laughs> Vengeance. <laughs> The one thing that stopped me, the bat. That bike is worth more than that box. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Andrea, I got my ass whooped. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. Please, my pride. <laughs> and, and then he comes up, he comes up with Space Ghost as he <laughs> as Space Ghost. <laughs> God, I must monologue to myself. Yeah. Yeah, right. What's funny is like the uh, <laughs> yeah, right. the first issue of Detective Comics has that same origin story where the bat crashes through and everything. Mm -hmm. Or the, the Detective Comics 27. Uh, Not first issue. Also, they also, uh, um, Frank Miller takes the same idea, yeah. right? Yeah. For, For um, year one. Yeah. Year one, yeah. That's like the definitive origin story now, I think. Yeah. I don't know, because, I mean, there's so much, like... Well, now, yeah, actually, now you're right. Now that they brought James Gordon back, I could see that. And then Tom King really cements that as well, too. Yeah. Right. He's like, I'm so rich, but I got my ass whooped. Yeah. Parents are like, you disappoint us, Bruce. <laughs> he gets a message. So he's, he's like, Bruce is in so love. Just let me doesn't... happy, mom and dad, please. <laughs> he he's in love and he doesn't want to do it anymore. He reads yeah. just like he's like, I don't, I don't fucking hurt like I did. I like found happiness and whatnot. And he's just like, God, that's intense. That's like insane for a kid's movie you know what i mean that whole yeah. concept damn he said moby batman Does it rain that much in Gotham? I remember reading in some random comic. Apparently, it does rain really often. 
Yeah, I would say so, I guess. So. It's like Blade Runner. Those... Yeah. 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 But like, no matter what version of Batman, there's always like one rainy night. Yeah. Man, that guy's posture is terrible. <laughs> I like set him straighter just looking at that. I know, right? This dude's hunched over and <laughs> hugging his, his uh, whatever. Oxygen tank? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, this is all I got. <laughs> He's like the last of like the old school gangsters like at this point. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That, uh, after this, you have... Uh, Maroney and Mar- uh, Falcone. Falcone. Well, they're not in yeah. the animated series. Oh, they're not. No. Um, you get Rupert Thorne. Rupert Thorne is the only one. <laughs> that guy's face. You <laughs> saw that, O'Neill? <laughs> Adams. Too. Adams. Oh, that's cool. I get yeah, it. I get reference. it. Reference. Reference. What's the reference? Uh, uh Denny O'Neill. Uh, Neil, Adams. Neil Adams. Yeah. Oh, okay. Writer and artist. Yeah, yeah. Neil Adams, know. famously known for Batman Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he created Ra- Rachel Ghoul too. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Danny, and he's yeah. like the most famous, like uh, blue and gray bat suit. Mm-hmm. Back yeah, the when cape. Batman wasn't just like a fucking dick. <laughs> like <laughs> he had a little hope. He had a little pep in his step, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're wrong, Alfred, and you're not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> you never will be. I like the subtitles. You can't tell me what to do, music. Alfred. He's like, by the way, your paycheck's getting late again. <laughs> by the way, Alfred, I'm not paying you. Blade Spike. Yeah. Or is hey, it just a rabbit in the picture? No. Right. <laughs> Here. Ice quenching. Yeah. You flashback. I didn't realize like how fast this movie goes. Well, it's pretty short. Uh-huh. It's already like halfway done. Yeah. Yeah, it's an hour. How long is yours? Mine is an hour and sixteen minutes. Mine too. Yeah, mine sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, so Brandon, in your experience, could you say he's been committed to the point of marriage overall between all the films, movies, and comics? I want to say three times officially. Three times? Catwoman. Bat, I mean, Cat Catwoman. Uh, Talia Gul at one point, and uh, oh, like in the comics, right? Uh, overall, like, like between the movies, games, and comics. Well, he was never in the the movies or comics. I mean, movies are games. No, in uh, in Arkham City, he there's like um, there's a romantic past between him and Talia. But like a marriage romantic past? I don't think so. No, I guess not. But you know, they hint at like how serious they were. Yeah, he was a hit it and quit it type yeah, of guy. Yeah, when he, it comes he, to he just Talia, like, and then he dipped back. It's like I have a world. son. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think I think Andrea Beaumont's the only one that he's official. No, him and of course Catwoman. Catwoman yeah. Catwoman. But Tom Tom King just did that. So two women. Yeah, I I, I say Talia because there are there have been times, especially if you consider like Dark marriage, Knight Rises, because the marriage means that Rachel Gould's getting what he wants because Rach wanted them mm-hmm. to get married and Batman never did it, so it was never Talia who got married. Yeah, but I say pretty serious. Like he was at least pretty serious. Oh, with her. yeah, no, for sure, serious girlfriend type of thing. Like. Him and Talia, whoa. No, even then, they just, like, banged in Birth of the Demon, and that was it. Or Son of the Demon. And they've always just boinged. They've never, like, been, like, a committed, like, couple. Oh, man. No, they did get married. They did? Yeah, I was like, I know they have at one point. When he apparently has been married 15 times, so I was wrong. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot of alimony. <laughs> uh, yeah, he married, Christ, he married Talia. What, what series or issue is this? I'm gonna investigate Son this. of the Demon. 
Oh, they got married married? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm going to pull that up. See what I mean? This Talia, I'm not Talia, um, Andrea. Andrea, Andrea walking out on him. This is why he became Batman. This is what like kicked forced him. And this is why he's dark Dude. and destroyed. Like his, his animated origin story is way more like he lost his parents and that's what kickstarted his journey for vengeance and stopping them. But it wasn't until Andrea fucking destroyed him that he turned into Batman. And put on the cow and went that deep. He takes the picture. That was so cool. That was a cool reaction from Alfred when he actually gets yeah. scared. He's like, whoa. He like yeah. walks away just slowly. No reaction. You know, the problem with this movie is that it's pretty damn good, so we can't really make fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, literally I I have nothing to make fun of in this one. Like It's no BVS, am I right, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> Comrade's just screaming in his sleep. Those uh, golden statues, I think they're like a reference to Metropolis. They have to be. That really, yeah. The movie, right? Which, yeah, and then which George Lucas took those robots and put it made C three PO. Oh, I did not know that. Holy shit, they do look alike. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the Joker. God damn it. He's so good at the Joker. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I want to see what's the timestamp on this. 37 minutes. Dang. So yeah, like half the movie, and then you, you get the Joker halfway through it. That's insane. Like, they would never do that. Dude. <laughs> I think oh. that's the voice actor that played Cockknocker. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that voice from somewhere. So, I know I brought this up, but can you guys agree with me that like Joker is just so overused? Um, today, yeah. yeah. I yeah, mean, he sure. makes money, yeah. so. Well, he wasn't around for yeah. like twenty years back in the day, so. That yeah. makes yeah. sense. Yeah, they used to shuffle the they shuffle everything around, but now it's just a lot. Focus on the Joker. Which is cool, but dude, like I I've always wanted more Rachel Ghoul or Scarecrow or I've always wanted another good know, Bane. In Mr. Freeze or Yeah. Not a Tom Hardy Bane. <sighs> Do I want no. people to get angry at me? <laughs> <laughs> we we watched uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, later. we got to do that trilogy. <laughs> it's hard because I want to like love those movies more, and as I've gotten older, I've kind of liked them less a little. I, I really like Batman. Begins. Batman Begins is a solid, like almost perfect movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's I, the best one. I vibe real hard with. Yeah, Mark Hamill's so good at um. Being a Joker. What's crazy is like he was horrible in Star Wars. <laughs> what? You they were all of them or just the last uh, Jedi? You take that back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, New Hope, honestly, is horrible. Uh, I, as I'm a hardcore Star Wars fan, I'll say it. New Hope is boring as fuck. You don't uh, like the New I, Hope? I mean, I, I appreciate it and I respect it, and you know, it's a product of its time, but it does not hold up. I guess you can say, yeah, it does have like pacing problems, but because it was probably because of the how movies were back came out in the seventies. But yeah, but you know that's the guy that was Luke Skywalker, and then like twenty years later, yeah. you get this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love his I voice. Like though. So good, his and his are... laugh. His laugh is the best. His teeth are yellow in this yeah. one too. They're not white. <laughs> Have you ever seen how he looks in the studio, Nick? Yeah, I love it. He's very... He's animated, like, all the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we could, uh... Bang. <laughs> we could... <laughs> Batman is just sitting in the corner watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up, just like, perfect. He's like... 
Curving hard. He's like, you didn't kiss her again, Andrea. Kiss him again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Damn, no. I've been watching you all night. <laughs> I've been following yeah. you all over the city. It's like bring the back bring the guy back in. I'm gonna hide in the closet. <laughs> I've been hey. staring at your lips. For six Make sure he takes now. his pants off when he walks in. I wanna be under the bed. <laughs> She just steps in the glass, technically. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not broken. Yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> Do you think any of the modern day animated films have held up to this, Brandon? Oh, man, I mean, this one, it's good. It introduces a lot of cool stuff, but there's so much wrong with it, like, as a film. So it's hard to, like, say, like, you're kind of getting, like, two origin stories. I mean, you're getting thrown, like, a random character that we kind of never see or, like, hear from again. There's so many, like, random flaws. Mm -hmm. But for the product, just the fact that we got, like, a Batman animated film at that era, that's why this one's so cool. Mm -hmm. It's, like, what show that these things can work. Um, and they always went a little darker, you know, like, than the other ones. And... I don't know. I wouldn't say there's better ones for sure. I would even say some of the live action ones are better than this. Mm -hmm. This just has a lot of uh, really good concepts that they introduced. In, and you can't go wrong with like a Batman versus the Joker like fight scene. And yeah. Shit. So it was like, a, I don't know. I think it's real unique. But mm. I bet, I bet if this story was retold, it'd be really fucking good. Oh, uh, the same, like, art style, but updated visuals? No, like, just, like, redo this. Yeah, like, but I'm saying with like, updated this visuals. this movie deserves a reboot. Yeah, yeah, just, like, reboot it completely. Mm -hmm. Like, use this concept, but build upon the story more and, like, connect things a bit better. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why is she able to run that fast? <laughs> so <laughs> She got that Bucky that Barnes bu speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, <laughs> he's just sprinting through traffic. I never got that. Yeah. I never got like that's one of the issues I have with this. Like, does she have superpowers? Like, is her suit like something unique that helps her? Like, Andrea Beaumont can like dodge bullets and like disappear. And... All these fighting styles and keep up with. She's fucking running against a bat plane. <laughs> and like she's machine. using she's using magic tricks. And you know, Batman's like, I know magic. Like, I <laughs> I trained with magicians. Like. How do I not know, like, how do I not figure out what you're doing? So, I don't know. Her whole, her whole like, persona, I don't understand because, like, it's not, it's just kind of thrown at you and you have to accept it when you have no reason mm -hmm. to. So, I don't know. And I, I think that's a big writing flaw in that part. He's doing parkour. He lands on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like look at that. Batman's all fucked up and shit. He's been training for years. Like, hey, even before Andrea, he was training. So how is she super badass and on top of it, like out of nowhere? <laughs> Ooh, squinty eyes. I know, right? I mean, yeah. something's going on. I thought this was so fucking genius when they did this in the movie. How he did this to get away. I, I can't remember what happened. Oh, look at this. Was, it's oh, so like, good. Like, I've never seen a Batman do this. Oh, yes. No, I used to do this with my action figures all the time <laughs> because of this scene. <laughs> um, and I, I loved it, dude. Because you remember when it was be, you'd get a cloth? Yeah, and you could and take it off. That would snap, it, would, it would snap onto their neck. Yeah. I was like, that's so smart. See... A seasoned Batman would have a gas mask in his belt. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Batman learned a lot a lot of lessons this night. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, all right. Utility built matters. Yeah. I gotta start working out with this thing on to get used to it. <laughs> He's too top heavy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Need to do legs more don't, often. Don't skip leg day. I'm pretty sure the TV version that you're talking about just doesn't show blood and shit like that. Also, I think a key thing that was like shocking about this movie, and I don't think it'll be on the TV version, I'm not sure, but the Joker punches Andrea like um while, like without her mask and so <laughs> shooting up in, up in the air yeah see oh tell me that's not <laughs> that's smart that as hell look at that, that so dude cool. he sent the cowl out there and they fell for it i and then he's maskless running around i think that's so i love seeing that you know but i you know, the joker punches Andrea and that's the first time like a female character got punched in a cartoon really like like this, yeah. Like in the Batman cartoons, the girls don't get punched. What about the way? No, doesn't he hit Harley Quinn? No, you don't. This see is before it. Harley Quinn. Oh, this is before. Yeah, this Harley is also Quinn. before. Man, it's been a while yeah. since I've seen the show. They can't read a license plate. Who's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're cops. You, nice ass car. Like, probably stands out. They're like, cops, aren't they? Like Harvey sweaty. <laughs> when they like be able to access license. Plate, like a license plate information maybe that's when bullock realized i need to start learning more detective <laughs> <license plate>. yeah <laughs> a lot of lessons were learned that night it's like why are you so nosy bruce <laughs> There's no Red Hood origin story for the Joker in the animated series. It, yeah, you you don't know how you don't know how it happened. No, he just showed up. It's kind of just like it's kind of just implied that you kind of again with Batman, neither one of them, you get those origin stories, which is cool. You never see it. However, I will say I interviewed Alan Burnett um, at Comic Con one year, and they had an episode called The Gun. And there was one that they scripted out that he wished they could have made, but it kind of didn't fall along the lines of the approach of this show. But it showed the manufacturing. It starts off with the manufacturing of a gun and how it gets passed around from person to person and eventually led up to the um, the killer of Bruce's oh, parents. Okay. And then it shoots it. And then Batman like acquires it and whatnot, and it circles back to him and everything. It was like a really dark episode. Um, but I've, I, I've, it's one of the coolest interviews I ever did. That was a yeah, good in the comics, doesn't Batman have the gun and keeps it? In yeah, the there's a there's a little short story where he melts it down and crafts it into like a chess piece. Oh, yeah. really? I knew he melted it down, but I never remember. It's one of those like Detective it. Comics 1000 kind of like I forget who wrote it. Right. But yeah. OK, then we're thinking the same. story. Yeah, he like he like welds it down and everything and shapes it into like the bat symbol and puts it on his chest. And it like protects him, kind of thing, you know. Oh, I yeah, I heard I heard that he that was the chest piece, he, uh, chest piece. I heard chest. Oh, like a yeah, chest, chest piece. piece. That's what I said. <laughs> like a, but not chest. I heard like the game chest. Yeah, he he melted it down to make a chess game. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally what I heard, and that's why I was like, oh, I didn't remember that. Keeps but no, he has a chest piece. He's got one of those <laughs> yeah, in the literally. mansion. Yeah, that is hilarious. It's like Bruce, if you want to marry me again, I have to bail my father's financial. <laughs> You're gonna have to kind of save him, Bruce. Yeah. feels he's like andrea i don't care 
<laughs> Ooh. He's like in the middle of getting it on. He's like, Alfred, get out! It's like, you should know by now. Master How many times do you have to do this? <laughs> there's like, there's a condom on that tray. He's like, just leave it and go. Yeah. <laughs> And there's like sex toys he lifts it up and there's like it's like condoms a couple other random things some lube yeah some <laughs> master bruce you asked for this last time what you... yeah a noose <laughs> yeah <laughs> he has no money this he doesn't matter anymore batman right like this is current present mm -hmm. times or is this a flashback yeah, it's, it's right now. Yeah. It reminds me of like um when we, when you got that note. Have you have you seen Casablanca? Yeah. It's like when when she gives him that note and then it's like it's like raining and he's just like oh yeah reading it while. He sounds so obsessive over her, though. Like, I followed her throughout the city, yeah. Alfred. I read her lips. Yeah, yeah. Batman's a little creepy about that part. Not gonna lie. <laughs> this is so good when they do it, though. Yeah. Joker. Yeah. Wait a goddamn minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh God no! Damn, How cool! It just it trips me out. Like now we're in a Joker origin. Basically, story, yeah. Like, you know. Well, that's the thing. Like, but see, I could see how it was going to be split up into like three episodes. Then you have like the Andrea Beaumont origin, you have the Joker origin, and then you have like the the tie up. You know, like for television that works. But like as like a far as like a film screenplay, it doesn't really like add up to like certain things and how stuff is presented. Especially because it's like they took such a huge risk by doing this, and it flopped until years later. I had a Joker action figure in this outfit, and it was oh, yeah, shit. yeah, that's cool. The black over. I've always wanted like a Joker statue. I can't decide because I only want one. Because that's enough Joker in my life I need. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> There's a new Jim Lee one that's gonna. Oh yeah. Can you like stop talking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you not? Do that guy's a great yeah, artist. Yeah. What are you talking? Can about? you guys There's stop? A, a Rob Liefeld one. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you see that Ghost of Christmas Future, just like Batman and Noel. Found, found on the famous Apollo That's City exactly. Comics podcast. That's why it's a Christmas movie. Cause, cause that, that one line, line, they're like, uh, he said Christmas, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any Christmas trees. They're there, don't worry about it. In this movie. Yes. Joker started cancel culture <laughs> before Twitter. Yeah. All dead. Uh, hello. <laughs> She's like, yeah. By the way, I'm gonna tell you how I'm boning Bruce Wayne later, so don't don't bother eating. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Don't hang. Don't wait up for me. That guy that's better than you in every way. He's like so top heavy and way. you're not. So I just want to let you know. Yeah. Damn. See, these shots are just so good, dude. Yeah. That shadow, like. And I love the outcome of him. Like, this is one of the creepiest. It's always parts. been creepy when they do this. Where everyone's like, what the fuck is going on? He 
He literally looks just like mm-hmm. the creeper now. Yeah. Oh man. His breathing, the way he comes down right now, I still think of that. Yeah. He's like in tears because yeah. of the pain. I think this movie like traumatized. It's pretty me. creepy, like watching that as a kid. <laughs> right here, watch how he he doesn't stop. Oh, I thought he like kicked up more. I guess. But then Batman's yeah. right there. Being a creeper, just watching again. <laughs> I read your lips. Stop laughing. <laughs> yeah. Max him around. This is funny. I'll show you funny. Dang. If only it was that simple, <laughs> Batman. <sighs> so creepy. We're trying to sleep out here, Councilman. <laughs> yeah, I know. Shut the fuck He's up. like, God damn it, it's not that funny. You're dying. <laughs> Dude, that outline, that like... Where you just see the yeah no it. that I told you that outfit is really sick yeah. for how much it doesn't make sense to fight crime in yeah yeah it's like cloth. <laughs> easily tears the like jackpot he's like I'm gonna sniff this later Oh, how cool. Yeah, I know. The writing to this is still pretty solid. Uh Oh, yeah. (laughs) Man, it's just they execute stuff like that so well. It's because he's so good. Disconnected. Yeah. (laughs) Mark just puts it He really does. I do like the flow of the flashbacks. How like they like peel everything open as you're going. Would have worked great for television. <laughs> what is a sp- even four <laughs> episodes, honestly. Yeah, yeah. See, this isn't sanitary. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he wiped it <laughs> off. It's fine. There Bill's it character. <laughs> and that's how he became the Joker. So- yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Loney. This is a trip. That's less sanitary. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, those teeth are yellow. I don't they're they're white in the animated series, right? Maybe it just makes it look creeper or creepier. I think yeah, I think yeah, as in this part Dude, of Dude, was he gonna scary. fondle that robot? He's like you get in the mood and someone shows up. <laughs> He's been fondling that robot. Like. <laughs> it's such like an anticlimactic reveal in a way. You found out who I was. Huzzah! It's yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Uh, the Joker's lines in this one are top tier. Good shit. (laughs) 
Oh no. A weapon. How cool. Ooh, yeah, that is what? He does hit her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Give me the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is the most joker scene right here. Yeah, you remember oh, what yeah. I'm talking about? Like Well not the, just this part, you'll see. Weapon of choice. <laughs> yeah. That would suck if it back on your hair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Below me. He, he walks Bobby, around. What is that? <laughs> it jumps out the window. <laughs> it's so it's so inappropriate. That was totally. Uh... Andrea. Then you have that pod racer fucking. <laughs> okay, so what's up with these powers? Oh, yeah, the pod apparently. racing engine. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's really good at magic. Um, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. You're never, you're never told this. Like you're just told to accept it, and that's what kind of gripes me. It's they're they're giving an origin story, but mm. you're not. You know what I mean? Like it's a little half-assed on both sides. Is the wind turbine casually there that you can remote control? It's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. Getting hit in the stomach and then having to hold on like that. But then you get the dopest bat cycle. I've always loved, like, this one. Does he have. Oh, he doesn't no, have he doesn't. on it, though. I like when he has the Batman. With the ears. On it too. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Dude, I always thought this was cool. He's going to ramp his cycle into the vent. Like... Just dropped, like, 150k <laughs> right there. Yeah, straight up. Okay, so how do you get air like that? Does it just have hydraulics? I, like... I was just about to say, like, <laughs> he just, like, pulled it up, man. Like, top heavy. Dude, he's got that forearm strength. Heavy. You know, he just fucking revs that shit, and yeah. it goes flying. No leg day. Thank God my legs are the lightest part of my body. <laughs> <laughs> Yank this up real hard. <laughs> I I solved it. You <laughs> <laughs> solved it after no mask or nothing. Yeah. He's like, I've been following you this whole night, and that's how I figured it out. Let me let me get this off my chest real fast. It took me He's a like, while. I win. Yeah. I win. I found you. Yeah. <laughs> What will vengeance solve? <gasps> no. Please. Magic. World of the future. Do we still have like an epic? Like, see, like, this whole, like, it doesn't even stop there. That's the cool part. Now we get, a, like, a Joker versus Batman, story. Batman yeah. little chase. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, it's WB. Hey. Did you know they owned the DC property since the 60s? Hmm? Which is crazy. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it's so <laughs> comical. Cool stuff with it. I, I love that, yeah. <laughs> How it just fits perfectly, like... <laughs> Man, I you know... I don't know. I guess there's, like, Disney World and stuff for things like this. Well, didn't you say there's that... <laughs> <laughs> that DC park? Oh, look at that. Knocked the tooth out. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Godzilla fighting. <laughs> Do you say it in Dubai or whatever? I always say Dubai and it's never right. Yeah, they have Dubai? a DC park. Dubai? Am I right? It is Dubai. Yeah, it's 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 dope. They have oh, a Warner Brothers park, park. Sorry, and it's the only one in yeah. the world. And it's like, that's cool. Yeah, it is. He is riding really that cool, subway. Dude, like... <laughs> I love that. Also, I mean, it's hard to you know for what they 
pulled off with this and as rushed as they were because they were going to plan these as episodes but then they said go make a movie but you need to release it in this amount of time and get it this you know done and we're not going to market it like they they made a pretty amazing story i think if they would have had more oh, time yeah. it would have just been over the top like amazing but for what they put together this is i mean this is hands down my top probably batman animated movie I think now realizing, like watching it now, older, and like knowing shit, <laughs> I realize its flaws. But I mean, what they do to the character is freaking awesome. No, I think it was also like it was. They took a chance and made something different. I mean, granted, yeah. they fell back on yeah. the Joker being the villain, but they're like, we're gonna create but an I original mean, character, yeah, original like, story, and we're just gonna make it. And like. I, I, what shocks me is that executives let it happen because you don't see that. In oh no! I've always oh loved yeah, that especially animated. Spaces. Yeah, especially yeah, it's all, animated. It's uh-huh. all DVD. No, it's DVD. And the fact that they give it a theatrical release, like a short lived. <laughs> 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 the helmet. I love it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've always loved it. That that um spacesuit has always felt like really Scooby Doo to me. You know that that one villain, dude, that's for like skipping leg day all the time. That, that's he's cool. he could jump. <clears throat> <laughs> the helmet. It's like this thing is not built for two people. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Mark, you're just gonna grunt into the mic. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I do have a cape, you know. Yeah. Yo, he's gonna kill the Joker. Batman doesn't kill. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Yeah, that's insane. (laughs) Damn. Batman, he's hurting, man. Like, he had to make Andrea take off and... Now he's fighting the Joker. He's just like Batman doesn't give a well, fuck. She's right, right there now. He's just I. <laughs> yeah, Damn, he's out of breath. <laughs> yeah. She, like, didn't have to stay behind. That was the thing that was confusing. It was like, oh, we we shouldn't bring her back, but let's yeah. keep her open. Yeah, I mean, she's not killed on screen, so. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but also, she has nothing left. She's done. She doesn't care anymore. She's uh. She had Bruce. Mission. Yeah, that's true. Though. She's yeah, she's literally just like, what else does she have left? She'd rather die with this guy. They never explain those powers. Never explain. Just like a, a fart bomb, and she's gone. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now, I mean, Bruce is like, how the fuck am I gonna get He's here? Like, like, I, know magic. Yeah. I don't even know how to do that kind of magic. Yeah, I was like, well, you could have taken me with you. Thanks a lot, asshole. <laughs> I thought you were the one trying to die. <laughs> yeah. The Aquaman says him right now. <laughs> so it's about an hour. Arthur, what are you doing here? Yeah. Man, dude, that coloring mm-hmm. is so cool. Something about that hand drawn, you know. Yeah, the stuff was ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's insane. Ooh, Batman's hurting. <laughs> Alfred's like, she don't give a fuck about you, Bruce. Move on. <laughs> She'd rather die with the Joker than be with you. <laughs> yeah, she's done. But she represents like what he doesn't want him to become, realistically. Letting vengeance get in yeah. the best of them. Yeah. yeah. Seeking vengeance and everything. Yep. <laughs> I 
Doomsday Clock like ruined this moment. Oh. <laughs> this was like, <laughs> no, it's not the button he finds. Yeah. The smiley Her face neck. button. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally to the yellow like, you know, circle object, Jeff Johns. Thanks, Jeff Johns. Who's also, he's also in charge of the DCEU. So. Not anymore, I don't think. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people got fired, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I think there's some some stuff changing. Like that crown on his head. Uh, like what's his face? Who's the Jughead? Jockey? Yeah, it does. Jughead. 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 Yeah. yeah. He literally looks like him, actually. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Same nose. Yeah. Oof. Hit him with the feels. At least he's like a gentleman about it. He's like, okay. Hit him with alone. the feels. He's like, yeah, do you want right? to be yeah. alone? And she's like, I am. It's like, oh! <laughs> Ran the heart. Oh, damn, girl. You're hurting, girl. You're hurting. Iconic scene right there. Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, and, uh, the way he leaps out right now. Yeah, cue the Latin music. Like, like dude, it is like dude, most so epic, bad. Like, Being like five watching this, this show is so awesome. Dude, flipping the cape. And he's out. Fade to black. Oh, oh right. Yeah. yeah, right into black. Yeah. Same thing as um, Batman Begins. Oh, that's right. He does, huh? Oh, he nice. being Batman Begins, the movie that features yeah. music from the hit band Nickelback? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? I forgot. I think someone said, remember, Nickelback was used for the Batman Begins trailer or something like that. <laughs> something ridiculous. I did not know that. Oh man, no, it's hard to bash that movie. It's just oh oh, Stacy Keats Jr. that that he did. Oh uh, okay, he did the voice. Yeah, but uh no, Dick Miller. <laughs> Dick Miller, everybody. The uh, the movie is like pretty solid, and it's you can't make fun of it really. I mean, there's it has its moments. They're kind of cheesy, but it's overall a pretty solid film. Oh, and then we get into this '90s like kiss. This FM. kiss like, FM. Yeah. <laughs> It's like oh late night R and B. Hey, you like Batman, right? So here you go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> Gotham City for you. You know, you know, it does. I don't know. I guess like as like a a script writer, like I see the flaws for sure. But dude, I don't give a fuck. Like it is, it is a good movie. It is a it's... good story, and it's like a very unique Batman story that we don't get. Um, and it's a different way of giving his origin story as well. This wasn't your stereotypical Batman origin story. This was the animated origin, and it's just way different. Not just that. It's it's like a so movie that's barely the runtime of a movie, and they've crammed so much into it. Like, yep. you got two origin stories, a bunch of characters, the Joker. Fuck it, you got a Joker oh. origin story, too, and, you know, it's just... It goes from, like, a Phantasm movie to I'm a surprised. Batman movie to, like, a Joker movie, so... it. Kind of goes all over the place. I'm surprised Bruce Tim hasn't come back and tried to redo this character or Paul Dini or someone. You know, like Bru- I would Bruce Tim is off ru- uh, ruining Batman characters. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, how did you know? people he's the out? reason for that fucking intro movie to Killing Joke? I thought that was him. No, he's not. No, no, it's Brian. Oh Azzarello. yeah, he did write. That's, That's right. All well, Brian he's Azzarello. Crazy too. Bruce, Bruce Tim was pissed the next day after that movie. All right, fair me. enough. I remember going up to, yeah, no, fuck Brian Azzarello, dude. Like, that dude is just, no, you don't do that. There was no purpose for that. Uh, Yeah, but no, Bruce Tim, I trust Bruce Tim. Right. Bruce Tim, I trust. All right, all right. I'll, I, I redact. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I just don't like Brian <laughs> Get really angry. Get really pumped. Um, but yeah, no, I think uh, the movie's good. I think it's definitely like by this day and age, there's a lot. There's not a lot, but there's some better films, or at least up for debate. Yeah, you know, that's why we wanted to start watching some of these and uh, checking out from the beginning, you know? Um, I'm so fried out on modern mm-hmm. DC. Something special about watching this. <laughs> I wanted to see some good stuff. Yeah, exactly. So we'll try to maybe do Sub Zero soon. Um, Return of the Joker. Fuck, I love that movie. God, damn. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love that movie, but it's been years since. Oh uh, yeah, it. So like I said, I've only seen it like <laughs> once to two times. But oh, 
I have some memories I'll save for that episode. But I don't know. What are your final thoughts, Nick? Oh, uh, yeah, I liked it. Still holds up. Um, from what I can remember watching it, I think I watched it as a kid and then I rewatched it like as a teenager. Still a good, still, still pretty good solid film. Yeah. I think no, this was our uh, first animated it? movie too. You guys watched? Oh, we did. Did yeah. you guys watch Dark Knight Returns with Comron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was our. Fr- oh, it started with the animated movies. No, we and watched we part one and two. To it, huh? I think. Well, that was it. I mean, that was that we haven't done one. That was our first animated movie. A good amount have been live action, and a I think good amount all of have them. been. I don't think we've done any animated movies. No, it's on the list. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what I better way to really kick our, it off? Yeah, to get back to it. Yeah, it definitely needs to happen more. But, well, guys, I don't know. That's it. Thanks for being film. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. <laughs>